Today we're going to talk about floating and bonded neutral with generators, what those terms even mean, and how to use them properly in each type of generator setup. Hey guys, Toolman Tim here. Welcome back to the workshop where we create community, find freedom, promote preparedness, and share success. Back with another generator video for you. So let's dive right in. So I get asked all the time, what does bonded neutral mean? What does floating neutral mean when it comes to generators? So first off, let me tell you, I'm not an electrician. And this is something I've wanted to learn. So I dove into it and decided I'd come back and teach you what I've learned. So before we dive into exactly what bonded versus floating is, let's quickly touch on the idea of an electric circuit. So 120 or 240 are basically the same other than one has an extra hot wire. So we're just gonna talk about 120s right now. So in that you've got a black wire, which is hot. That's the one that sends power out to the device from the source. Then you have the white wire typically, which is the neutral. That's the return wire. So the power goes out and it comes back. It comes back on the neutral wire. And then you're gonna have the third wire. It's either gonna be a bare copper wire or a green coated copper wire. That's your protection. Electricity will only flow in a completed circuit. If your neutral's open somewhere, there's gonna be no power flowing through. Electricity always wants to and always will return to the source. So it's gonna say, start at your panel, <laughs> and then it's gonna go out to a device and then back through the neutral, back to your panel. Electricity tends to prefer the path of least resistance. Just because a wire is called neutral doesn't mean it's not gonna hurt you. If you send 15 amps out, for the most part, you're gonna get 15 amps back. That neutral wire is just as dangerous as the hot wire. So typically, the ground wire does absolutely nothing. It just sits there as an emergency exit, just in case it's needed. It tends to have way lower resistance, which means it's gonna put a huge spike of current through that wire quickly, and it's going to trip your breaker. That's what's gonna protect you. So, you came to find out about floating versus bonded neutral in a generator. Bonded neutral means that the neutral from the engine on the generator is bonded physically with a wire to the frame so that if it grounds back through, it will ground to the frame of the generator and pop the circuit. A floating neutral doesn't have that connection from the neutral to the frame. So that means a floating neutral generator needs to be properly bonded to an existing panel. So that's the difference. Bonded generator means that the neutral in the generator is physically bonded with a piece of wire to the frame of the generator. A floating neutral means that doesn't exist. So the three main setups for generators, what does the floating versus bonded mean for those? If you're using properly grounded three-prong extension cords, then use a bonded generator. If it's floating, look up how to properly bond your generator or more preferentially have a electrician bond it for you. If you're hooking up through a transfer switch, it really doesn't matter if you have a floating or a bonded generator because your electrician is gonna hook up your transfer switch. If you have a bonded generator, then that transfer switch, the way he hooks it up will break the household neutral. If you have a floating neutral in your generator, then they're gonna keep that neutral all the way through so that it properly creates the circuit. Now you're probably asking, what about backfeeding? Now, you should never have your neutral bonded in two places because what can happen is, if you have a fault in the system, the electricity can then return to the source through two different means. It can return to the source through the bonded neutral on the generator and the bonded neutral in your panel. And that may reduce the current enough that it won't pop or the circuit breaker, and then you end up getting a shock. You should never have two bonded neutrals in two places. So if you're going to backfeed, ideally, you should have a floating neutral generator. Or if you're only gonna use your generator as a backfeeding generator, then have an electrician disconnect the bonding. Honda and Champion tend to put their generators out as floating neutral. Look it up in your manual, look it up online to find out for sure. Furman and Generac tend to be bonded neutral generators. So in summary, a bonded generator means that the neutral wire is bonded 
to the frame. And if there's a fault in the system, what's going to happen is that electricity, if you happen to be the person that causes the uh, completion of the circuit, instead of going through you, the electricity is going to go back through that low resistance ground wire back to the neutral, complete the circuit. They're going to say, whoa, there's way too much current coming through here and it's going to pop the breaker and that is going to be your protection. And if you have a floating neutral generator and it's hooked up through a transfer switch and you have that same scenario, it's going to go through the ground, back to the panel and kick the breaker and that is your protection. If you want to know more about who I am, hit the subscribe button, check out toolmantim.co, run by there. You'll see a whole bunch of different products that I recommend. I, and as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and have a great week.